Hi, my name is Austin, and today I'm going to walk through a couple tips and tricks that I use in the Google Ads Editor to save myself time and get work done faster when I'm managing Google Ads accounts for my clients. So what I'm using is this. This is the Google Ads Editor, and this is where you would find it. So I'll put the link to this in the description below, but you would essentially you just download this program add it to your desktop and then what you have is this once you've opened an account and downloaded all the data within the account so I won't cover installation today but it's simple it's easy so with this I'm gonna share a couple examples of copying and pasting campaigns and ad groups and ads in a way that's really fast and saves me a lot of time the store that I'm using as a sample today is Trim Up Apparel. This is a store that sells graphic tees that have National Parks prints on them. So that's what we're advertising. So let me jump right in and just point out the layout of the Google Ads editor because it's a little bit, it is actually confusing when you start. So I'll just call out what each section is for and that'll help get you situated when you're working in the ads editor on your end. So. The top left is the navigation section where you can choose which campaign you want to work in. You can also click the drop down in each campaign and choose the individual ad groups that you want to work in. The bottom left is where you select different assets or pieces of the ad group or campaign. So for example, if I wanted to work on keywords, I would click on the drop down menu for keywords, click on keywords, and there they are. And the same goes for all the other campaigns. So. If I click into the Grand Canyon um, ad group, then I'll see those keywords. The ad groups are misnamed, so just ignore that for now. Same thing for ads. So let's say I want to look at the expanded text ads. So now I've navigated to them down here in the bottom left. That's what the bottom left section is for. The middle section is where I can either edit or just view what I'm working on. So now I have ads open or one ad open and I can change the ad text here and like a like a word editor or a word processing program I can just use things like control or command Z to undo or I can use uh, control or command C to copy and paste things I can copy and paste entire ads and then make changes over here on the far right so let's say I want to switch the order of the headlines. I can do that by copying and pasting. I can do the same with the descriptions. And I can change the everything else really that's associated with the ad. So again, the top left is for navigating to different parts of the ad account, different campaigns and ad groups. Bottom left is to select different assets to work on. So like ads, keywords, etc. Then the middle and far right sections are where you would actually uh, make changes to whatever it is that you're working on. So let's just make uh, a couple ads really fast. I'm going to make a couple changes and then just copy and paste those around the account to get things done quickly. So let's say today I want to add a responsive search ad. So a couple ways I can do that. I can just add it here type in ad copy, hit tab, um, write in more ad copy, hit tab, write in even more ad copy, and so on. Um, I can also quickly assign things with the pin feature. I wouldn't pin things like that, but that's just an example for you. And then um, an even faster way to do this would be to copy and paste in text from a spreadsheet. So. With the Google Ads Editor, I can just take, let's say, a whole spreadsheet of prepared ad copy. So right here you can see I've got headline 1 through 15, and then descriptions, paths, and then a final URL. So I'm just going to uh, select all that, copy it, go back over to the Ads Editor, and then instead of hitting the Add Responsive Search Ad button, I'll hit Make Multiple Changes. And then I get a box in which I can place more information so and I can do that by using the drop down menu to select what I want to edit in the entity that I'm working on so if you're working in a keyword you can select different 
aspects of the keyword to work on. I'm in an ad, so now I can select different aspects of the ad and just type in text. But what I want to do actually is just take advantage of a spreadsheet that I've made and copied from and just hit paste from clipboard. And you can see that because my copied text had headlines or headers, so column headers being headline one, two, three, etc., and then the ad copy that belongs to them, because that was all copied, the ads editor detects that that was the headline. That's what my first row was and just fills it out with headline one, two, three, four, etc. So it doesn't work if you just, let's say I just copy row two then it's not going to put the appropriate um, component on your ad. Uh, you can see what I'm, what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to copy that again, paste it in, and then I'll hit process. If there's errors, I'll see the pr those errors here. If there's no errors, so I see the new ad. I'll hit keep, and then from here, I can save a lot of time by copying and pasting this ad group and campaign around. So let's just, for example, say I want to make a new ad group. Um, I'm going to go down here, let me move my face. I'm gonna come down here to the ad groups, click on that, now I see my ad group. Before I had responsive search ad selected, so in the middle I had ads. Now I'm selecting ad groups, so in the middle I'm seeing an ad group with all of its associated um, settings. But I'm just going to click on that, hit Command C, Command V, paste it, and then I can do a different ad group here. I can come back into that responsive search ad and change it. You see, there's two responsive search ads now. That's because I have two selected over here. So I'm just going to select the one that I want that was different. And then I can put in different ad copy really quickly. Um, and change the uh, final URL, of course. Okay, so now I've made an, a responsive search ad and copied it into a new ad group, and that saved a lot of time. That was much faster than doing this online in the Google Ads Editor. So now, let's say I want to make another campaign. Let's say, for example, I want to take the Yosemite campaign, and I want to make a version that just shows to people in California because Perhaps I've found that because the state park, or the national park, Yosemite National Park, is in California, I get more sales on that shirt in the state of California. So I could, for example, just take the whole campaign, like I just did now, hit copy paste, and then California traffic. So I'll just call that California. Uh, and then maybe I'll bid more on it. So I'll hit this button. I'll leave it set to maximize cl clicks, but I'll put uh, the max CPC bid limit. Let's make it five. And I'll take the old campaign. I'll call it all other states. And I don't want to call that traffic, so let me delete that. And now what I'll do is, in the ads editor, I can also change the location settings. And I can do that quickly by using hotkeys to navigate around the interface here. So I haven't done that before, but I'll show you shortcuts on a Mac or up here under shortcuts, and I can see all sorts of different ways I can just move the interface to where I want to be. If you're on a PC, or sorry, a Windows machine, you'll find the same thing. There'll, there'll be shortcuts there too for you. So. Anyway, I know that the location shortcut is Command G L. So now I'm in locations, and I don't want to show in my California campaign across the entire United States. I just want to show in California, so I'll delete that. I'll hit Add a location. I'll type in California, and then I won't leave it like that because this doesn't work. You have to actually find the exact location entity with its ID and everything. So you can see I came in here, I, I hit find location, then I selected it, I'll hit okay. And let's say now what I ought to do is not show ads in my other campaign in California because I made this campaign for California. So I'll make another ad 
or another change in the locations on this campaign. But instead of adding locations, I'll add a negative location. And I'll hit add negative location, California. Hit this pen button and find it. Whoops. Now that's a negative location. And let's say I want to do the same with my shopping campaign. So I'm going to do Command G C to select the shopping campaign, which I've got highlighted over here in the top left. Copy paste that, California. And then I'll make this my all other states campaign. And then I'll go back to the Yosemite campaign, hit Command G L, and now I can just start copying and pasting locations from campaign to campaign also. So I pasted California, I'll delete, whoops, I'll delete the United States. And then I'll go back to all other states, and I'll copy that California negative placement, paste that in the shopping campaign. All right. So you can see how a lot can be done really fast here. I, I'll show a, a little extra tip at the end of the video if you want to wait for it, but what I'll... Uh, just close with today is saying that I can get things done probably three or four times faster in the Google Ads editor than I can with the online interface, especially if I'm making changes to multiple campaigns or hundreds or thousands of keywords. It's just so much faster and it's a safe way to edit the ads because once I am done with my changes, I'll post them to the account. I'll post them to the account with the post button up at the top and then Google the Google Ads editor will warn me if there's mistakes. So this saves a lot of time. Um, all right, so that's it for this video. If you have questions, uh, please leave them in the comments below. I like to answer and help my uh, viewers out with tips or anything that you might need from me. Uh, if you'd like to learn more, just hit subscribe and like and follow the channel, all that, and you'll get notified of more videos. And with that said, I'll just share that last little tip I promised. So with the Google Ads editor, one of the main things that I do is I add keywords really fast. So let's say I wanna add new keywords to all of these, let's see all these search campaigns. So I'm gonna use another tool, which is just this website keyword match type tool. It's just a free tool. And what I'm gonna do here is I'll just paste in um, a couple variations of what, what I want to uh, generate keywords for. So let's say I want a Grand Canyon keyword and I want a keyword for Grand Canyon trail map shirt. And then I also want a keyword for Grand Canyon graphic shirt. So what I've done is I've put all those variations in here and I'll just hit make keyword list and then I've got all those right here. So I'm gonna copy paste all those into this ad group. I'm gonna hit Command G K for keywords. I'll hit make multiple changes and then I'll select keywords and paste, whoops, and I'll paste all those in. Sometimes if you double click in here, like I just did, if you double click in here, you'll paste everything in a single row. So if that happens, just Click out, delete it, whoops. Maybe I can't delete it. Okay, here we go. Click out, click in once and then paste. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna process those. Finish and review changes. Then I'll come back and quickly do the same Yosemite for the other ad groups. So Yosemite National Park. Let's actually just call it Yosemite. Make the keywords. Uh, paste those in actually two ad groups at once now. So you can see I've got Yosemite, both Yosemite campaigns. Oh, whoops, I didn't hit keep. This is reminding me to just confirm that I wanted to do this, so I'm going to hit keep on that last one. Sorry. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my two Yosemite campaigns. I'll select both. I will, let's say I just want to add them to these two ad groups, so, so I'll select these two ad groups at the top left, I'll hit make multiple changes, 
and I can see again here that I have those two selected and I have my keywords and my clipboard so I'll hit paste process finish and review changes and now I added keywords to two ad groups at once um, normally you don't do this because you don't want to have there's no reason to advertise the same keyword in different ad groups but today I'm doing that for an example so I've done that here and then if I wanted to do the same for more parks I can just type them in and keep making keywords so uh, there's your bonus tip on how to use the ads editor quickly so um, if you have any questions on any of this again just let me know in the in the comments below so thank you for watching and good luck